Glenn Hammond Curtis is, is considered to be the father of U.S. naval aviation. The first nut he had to crack was getting off the water with an airplane. There's hydrostatic friction, suction if you will, and breaking free of that was a nut that Curtis took a while to crack. He first tried in 1908, took him to 1911 to figure out how to do it. The airplane behind me is the A-1 Triad, sold to the Navy in July of 1911. Seated on the airplane is Lieutenant Theodore Ellison, U.S. Naval Aviator No. 1. Who Curtis trained personally out in San Diego, California in the winter, early January of 1911. Curtis realized early on that flying school operations in Hammondsport in wintertime was not so good. So he set up shop at was now North Island Naval Air Station in that year, leased the land actually, and offered free flying lessons to the Navy and the Army. And they took him up on it. And that began a long association with the Navy for Grant Hammond and Curtis and led to him being considered the father of U.S. Naval Aviation. The A-1 Triad is one of the early aircraft to have two seats. It's a training aircraft, it's a throw-over control yoke for the wheel, of course controls on the Curtis airplane, the wheel controls the rudder and pitch, nose down, nose up. You could throw that yoke over for your, for your student. It's very innovative in that respect. It also has a tricycle landing gear. The two rear wheels retract. It's the first amphibian. It's a beaching gear. You can land in the water, drop the wheels, taxi up on shore, a Curtis innovation.